Can't finish lower than number six. Miami can finish as high as nine or as low as 12 as we are underway in Coral Gables and we'll get Syracuse on offense first. Emmy going inside of that 2-3 zone to Keith Stone and they come up empty. That's the sweet spot of the zone, the lane and the short corners and Keith Stone is a good player because he can, for that spot, because he can pass, handle and shoot with size. For those freshmen, Joseph Girard, Going inside, looking for Dolajai again. He opened the scoring. And this one goes home, so back-to-back -back baskets for Marek Dolajai to start this game. Don't understand why more coaches don't play a zone out of bounds because you don't have to worry about scouting your opponents as much. Left open inside, and Rodney Miller Jr. makes the orange peg. On offense, the way to attack it is get it to the sweet spot right at the ACC logo. Look at the ball fake. That moves Dolajai. It's the passing lane to Miller. He's the perfect guy, Keith Stone, to have in the middle of that zone offense. Hughes. Money. He's a pro. Pass the ball, and he will be a good defender because he's very athletic, and he has a care factor. He missed the rebound there, second chance points. And DJ Vasilovich makes the orange pay. Back from an ACL injury, missed all in November. Jim Laranega said his fit fitness and conditioning really never came back as Miami leaves the back door open and Elijah Hughes runs right through it. We'll talk about their 2-3 zone. It is a 2-2-1 two -two zone. There's Stone, look at that, inside out, bang. Everything but the bang, but perfect position for the follow. Isaiah Wong tips it in. Uh, and you're not even, yeah, I, 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 we might have to go to blows at halftime. We might have to wrestle. Yeah. Buddy that... Beheim gets that one to fall. Finally got his shot free, but it was too late. Well, Sadibe played really good defense, and he's such a critical part of the zone. Elijah Hughes showing why he's definitely an ACC Player of the Year contender. Crazy range, really strong. I talked to him before the game. Really great handshake, great eye contact. Sounds like and seems like a really smart kid. Emmy shooting one of eight from three against the Syracuse 2-3 zone. And yet they find themselves only trailing by two, make it a tie game. Tough take inside. So 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Beverly ought to be looking to the bench because if I'm a coach, he's going to get subbed out. Another bad shot there. Ordenberg puts it up and in. The play Rick Pitino used at Louisville against Syracuse in the Big East tournament. Gerard, the steal, and the easy score. You said it, Keith Stone, when he was in this game, he was the zone buster. Miami looking for somebody, maybe it's Isaiah Wong, and that one rattles in for the freshman. Inside to Rodney Miller Jr., he takes it back out. There's my man Keith. Kick out three, and it's pure from Cameron McGusty. And Beverly turned his head and got used an open shot. He knows how to move without the ball. To Beverly on the other end, steps into it and knocks it down. That and he took the ball off the head the last possession. Dolajai through the spin cycle, up and in. I still, Stone is so good in that, in that foul line area. Syracuse just two of their last 12. Marek Dolajai willing the orange back into this game. Hey, all you want in a scatter report, but you got to experience. They got to force him to his left hand. Dolajai has nine of the oranges, 20. Harlan Beverly gets the lead back to four. Unlock him here. Extra pass wide open. Elijah Hughes, and he misses it. Buddy Beheim with three, finally it goes down, and Syracuse draws within two to close out this first half. I think Jim Laranega's happy to see him on the sideline. He does have two fouls, but that's not anything too concerning. Cameron McGusty starts the second half with a triple. And Jamie Lucky back, and we continue. Orange trailing by five. Inside to Dolajai, up and in. See, that's the value of Sidibe. You don't, he doesn't, that doesn't show up on the, 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 the stat sheet, although the rebound did, but just clogging the lane and creating the missed shot. Wide open three, and Joseph Gerard drills it. Trying to take this lead back without the ACC leading scorer, Elijah Hughes. Gerard leaning in, gets his shot away, too strong. Offensive rebound, Sidibe, and he puts it right back up and in. 
Garrier. Blocked from behind, stays with it though. Stuffed again, a third time, comes up empty. The fourth time rolls and finally goes down for Quincy Garrier. Never that cold outside of Miami, <laughs> but it's definitely cold in the arena. Much needed from the senior. To throw two-hand overhead passes because you don't have to put as much angle on it. Garrier, a lot of contact, puts it up. It goes down, count it, plus the foul. Two weeks later, I go visit North Carolina, and I'm at the baggage claim with Eddie Fogler, and Bob Wenzel's there with another <laughs> player picking up another recruit. He kind of makes that face, squinches his nose, close, you know, squints his eyes. I'd rather not do it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. This season, as Vasilovich nails a much-needed three, and remember, this Hurricanes team playing without their leading scorer, Chris Likes. He's out indefinitely after he's banged up in the Virginia game. The bank open on senior night for Vasilovich. That's his fourth triple. Obviously, he did not. And the Melbourne native. Big time triple there. Buddy Beheim looking for an answer. No good. Gary A, perfect position for the second chance cash in. Beheim contested three, buries it. Basically above the foul line extended. The ball has to travel below the foul line extended and attack the open space. McGusty answers with a three. Cameron McGusty drills it. McGusty step back three. This time he missed it. It falls right to Miller Jr. Puts it up and in, and we're tied at 44. Even though he missed it, it created a good offensive rebounding opportunity for Miller. Step back three, Gerard. That one rattles in. A lot of Syracuse fans representing. Juan trying to tie it, and he does. Isaiah Wong buries the three. Isaiah Wong scooped to the hoop, just what the Hurricanes needed, and the freshman delivers. Deep three. Rims out from Vasilovic. Dolajai lost the handle, regathers it, and fires Syracuse back in front. Six seconds to shoot. McGusty, swing, Vasilovic steps into a wide open three and hits it. The coach is in your home arena. The visiting crowd is louder than yours. Long in trouble, gets rid of it. Keith Stone, great pass underneath the flush. Sam Wardenberg. There he goes off the block. They're really looking for Beheim For the lead, Beheim missed it. And a foul immediately comes in on Isaiah Wong. He doesn't care about being Zaxby's player of the game. He cares about winning this game. And that's on the shoulders of the freshman Isaiah Wong. Banks in a foul shot. And now to make it a two-possession game. He makes that one. Get they back. Bring pressure. They're, they're opening up the court. Gerard on the drive. Takes it all the way to the rim for two. He missed it. Syracuse, no timeouts. Five seconds left. Gerard for the tie. He's got it. You're backpedaling, backpedaling. You got to build the wall. Makes a big time shot. Nice ball fake. There's the ball fake. Isaiah Wong's been the go-to guy in the second half at overtime for Miami. Just a freshman. He's got 15 points to lead the Hurricane. Steps into a three and hits it. Now this is where Keith Stone's guarding their point guard. It's not a good shot. Deep three, heavily contested. It goes begging. Now Syracuse has to foul. All the way up to Stone, who slams it home. That was a, a really tough turn of events. Dolajai showing off the handles all the way to the rim, coast to coast for two. 
over uh, Vasilovic like he did at the end of the half, end of the regulation. Time winding down, Gerard fires it. No good, follow, slam, Jesse Edwards, 3.2 remaining. His family made the trip 26 hours from Australia, and they see him close out the ACC regular season with a win. And look how much it means.